The Painting with Magic Show with Brandon Thomas is brought to you by BrandonThomasArtSupply.com, home of the Brandon Thomas product line, and by the Brandon Thomas Instructor Team. Go to BrandonThomasArt.com to find an instructor near you. It's me, it's me, it's Brand T here with the Painting with Magic show. And today, we're going to do a fun little painting. I want to do something with a lot of colors in there. So, uh, what I've done is I've applied a few different colors in here. And as you can see here, I put some yellow, some orange, some red, green, blue, and purple in here. And what I have done here is I'm calling it Noah's Falls. You know, the old story in the Bible about how the rainbow came. Uh, God's promise to Noah about uh, he wasn't going to flood the earth anymore. So I thought that would be a fun little painting to do. So I put some blue here and some purple on the edges here. I thought we'd do something kind of kind of colorful um, on a black canvas. So this is a 16 by 20 canvas. I forgot to mention that. Uh, it's the Frederick's uh, Artist uh, Red Label canvas uh, with some of my signature Amazing Clear. I threw that on here, thin coat, and then I applied my colors. Let the black uh, gesso dry this is my signature black gesso let that dry first okay you can use a hair dryer or let it set i put two coats on here just to get darker um and then i dry apply the amazing clear and then i layer your oil colors on here and this is oil painting uh, i get a lot of questions on what colors am i using i'm using oil paints and the colors i'm using today i'm just going to tell you what they are i'm using uh mars black prussian blue Dioxazine purple, burnt umber, sap green, some napathol red, some dirty light. I believe it's dirty light. Let me see how you pronounce that stuff. I think it's dirty light. I don't know. <laughs> so it's yellow. And then I got some titanium white. So let's get started with this one. So we'll go ahead and we'll take us a big old brush here. You get a two inch brush. And then we'll go here and just load into some titanium white. Okay. Go to the canvas now. Okay, so we're going to start about right here in the center and we're going to use some X strokes. Okay, just use some X strokes and kind of go around in a circle pattern like that. I know you see that titanium white's picking up those colors underneath it and it's allowing me to work outwards as you can see. There we go. Now we're getting to some of the purple and let it get darker and darker as it goes. There we go. Some, some dioxazine purple on the edges. I, must, I haven't reloaded the brush yet, just one load on the brush. And this is a little 16 by 20 canvas, so we won't take much here. Now, I'm not going back to the center, as you can see. I'm staying down here at the bottom of the base of it, okay? If I go back to the center, it'll just destroy that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another clean brush, and I'm going to now blend this out. So let me just beat this out a little bit. And I'm just going to go in here and blend this out. A clean, dry brush. And just kind of blend that out. If you move from the center out, do not come back in unless you clean this brush. So, okay. And all this is going to do is help us blend this out and make this look a little nicer. Okay. And you see the edges look black. So I'm not touching those anymore. I'm leaving those as they are. Okay. So now that we got our sky blended, uh, what we're going to do now is start working on some of the background stuff of this sky. I kind of want to throw in some, uh, maybe a distant mountain or some trees or something. Kind of kind of have some, something going on in the background for the waterfall to come into. So this waterfall is going to be the main attraction of this painting. It's something completely different. I'm hoping it's going to work. It should work, okay? I'm not done for it. It's been in my mind. Uh, so very excited to try this one out. So, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I'm going to do actually. Let's throw some stars up here. Let's get a little crazy today. Let's get monkey faced on it and put some stars in here. Ah, oh, it's going to look good. So, let's go ahead. Let's grab the old fan brush. All right, so I got my fan brush and we're going to thin down some titanium white here. So, I'm going to thin this down a little bit. Alrighty. All right, I'm going to set this palette down and we're going to do some little stars. Okay, so I got my brush and I'm just going to flick this off a little bit. Oh, look at those stars come in. 
Do those. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Some stars are in there. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my finger with a little titanium wine on it. And I'm just going to put a moon in here. That's all I got to do. And I got a moon. It's that easy. And I'll tell you what, baby. Just tap it with the brush. Just a little bit. And you can have a moon in there with some stars going on. Alrighty. So, and you see I got some splatters down here. So, I'll get rid of those. Doesn't honestly doesn't matter. I just want to touch that waterfall right now because if I do, it's going to wind up. There we go. Okay, now we got our stars in here. We got a little moon going on in here. I tell you what, I'm going to take and I'm going to use a filbert brush, my number six filbert brush, and just put like a little small mountain back here. It'll kind of move some of this stuff around, uh, kind of push some of that sky back a little bit. Okay, so I take our fan brush, take the titanium white. And then we're going to take a little bit of burnt umber, some Prussian blue, take some of this purple as well. Pretty good color. Take some of this black. Just a little bit of black. Alrighty. I'm going to get like a blue gray color. Okay, so now I got my color mixed up. Let's go up to the canvas and paint a little mountain in here. So I think I'm going to put my little mountain right in here. Okay, so I'm going to start working in with this brush. And you can see this color is not like it's extremely crazy. It's just a nice light color. And this is kind of like a fictional painting. Obviously, there's no waterfall with all them colors like that. Unless you put lights or something around. It'll be able to somehow use kind of a light system projected on there. But So it just make it kind of look magical in a way, you know. Kind of look cool, you know. So there we got that. There we go. So I got that going on. So I want to take back to my palette here, and I'm just gonna take some of this purple and blue, and kind of make a darker version of that color, and just kind of work some texture into it, just by dabbing it around. That's that easy. See, kind of got some different stuff worked up into it. Don't want a whole, whole lot really back there. Get that. And the moon's in the distance. It's not really doing anything. Need my two-inch brush to soften around it, and then I'm gonna actually kind of soften that mountain a little bit. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to grab a fan brush. And I'm going to mix up a color real quick here. Let's take some of uh, the black. Some of the snap green. And take some blue. Some brown, brown burnt umber. And we'll do this right here. And we're going to just tap it into... The bristles right into it. See that? And they kind of give a crunched brush look. Can you see that? Nice and open bristles. Let's go back up here now. And so right through here, I'm just going to tap in some tree shapes. Alright. Just like that, going up and down with it. This painting here is a painting that anybody honestly can create it. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be a very difficult one for beginners. Uh, I don't think it's going to be very difficult for anybody, really. Um, you know, if you've got a few paintings under your belt, this one should this one should definitely work out for you just fine. Alrighty. And so we will put some evergreens in here as well. It's going to be our background trees. And then kind of we'll throw a big evergreen there once we get back to that. But we're going to start working these in. Okay. Let's work those all up. Okay, it's reloading the brush and just going to continue to add my trees now <clears throat> I don't know how much you're gonna see over here you're probably not gonna see much we're gonna have a waterfall some rocks and some stuff going on over there so 
Not too much probably going to happen over here. So I'm not too worried about over here. We'll go ahead and just stop right there on that side. All right. So now I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and put an evergreen tree in there. So what we'll do is we'll take some more of the black. Now, if you don't have Mars black, you can use ivory black, whatever black you got. And if you don't have Prussian blue, well, you can use phthalo blue, any blue you have. One more snap green. And if you just have the primary colors, well, we have a primary, free primary color program on YouTube here that you can watch. Okay, so we just start with a line. Then we're going to dab in our tree. Just like this. No pressure at first and then gradually add a little pressure as you go out the edges of it. See, boom, got a little tree there. Right there. There with a D. Again, there's a tree. And I'm not trying to create a ton of trees back here. These are just little small background stuff. So you don't want to add a ton of trees. You just want to add a few at a time. Just little trees. Just a few little trees. Okay, kind of spaced around. And then the minds of the folks that view your painting will fill up everything else for you. So now we kind of got our nice little shapes going on here. Nice little trees. Everything's looking pretty cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and start kind of adding some highlights to those trees. It's kind of a not, it's not seen. So we're going to add some uh, different type of look to those trees. I'm going to pick up a number three fan brush. And then I'm going to take some of this titanium white. Some of that bluish color we were using. A touch of the green. It's going to have a little green look to it as well still. I'm not sure how well you can see the color. Right here. Alrighty. And then I'm also going to grab a little bit. A few drops of my amazing clear. That's two drops. That's all I'm going to do. And if you have my amazing clear, you know it comes with a little dropper. Hit and just tap this brush into it too. See that? Just crunch it in. There we go. So let's go back up here and start doing some things to these trees. So now we got this here going. I'm going to go ahead and start highlighting this one. And just gently touch. No pressure. No pressure on that. Just to have some moonlight going on it. I may even add just a touch more green to... To it. Just a little bit more green. So you can kind of go see. Now down here at the bottom, you're not going to see anything because it's in shadow. Alrighty. So that looks good to me. Okay. Alright, now that we have our trees in here, we've kind of highlighted them a little bit. I don't want to over, over dramatize or dramatize, whatever the word I'm trying to say. Try to make a pop. I ain't trying to make them go crazy. So, because I want this waterfall to be my main attraction. And number two, it's just a moonlight. And these trees are, t are taller than these background trees are. Uh, so you're going to see some of those lit, lit up. So you're not going to see too much there. So let's go ahead and start working on our water. Uh, right underneath those trees. And then we start with the big waterfall. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to use my same old fan brush that had that kind of the greeny color on it. That I used back here. And I'm just going to come in here now for the water. Because you're not going to see a whole lot because the moon's directly back here. See the moon's right there. Alrighty. So you're going to see some of that. Now I'm on second C. Should I use the big old two inch brush? I'll tell you what. I want to grab a clean, dry number six fan brush. And I'm going to load it into some white. So I'm going to load it into some titanium white. And I'm going to get me a little drop. Of amazing clear to go with that just enough and I'm gonna kind of push up the brush just a little bit kind of like this can okay, give it just a little push alright let's go back up here now so now you can see the waterfall here so I'm gonna take this brush and wish me luck oh yeah oh yeah, that's pretty cool hopefully you can see all that Reloading the brush. And 
and I'm wiping off the brush as I go. Oh yeah, that's cool. Alrighty, so now, 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 I'm going to use a clean one inch brush and then going up like so. You can see the colors come to life. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that worked out cool, bro. Yeah, that worked out. That worked out just fine, guys. That's cool. Alrighty. Okay, so at the bottom here, I want to kind of destroy that there. I'm going to take the up with my two in one inch brush and just applying the color to the to this. Then kind of pull it down and then back across it again. I'm going to take a two inch brush and just kind of Ah, scrub it again. Okay. Nice little bit of water. And it'll take, it'll take, take, take something here. Huh? Take that fan brush. I'm going to wash that fan brush. Take some titanium white on a number three fan brush. And I'm down here. I'm gonna scrub in some stuff. And then right here at the bottom, we're gonna scrub. See that? Scrubbing in. Take a one inch brush that doesn't have anything on it, and just kind of playing around. Just like so. This is going to create a misty look at the base. A little more misty look to it. I want to kind of dye that down right here a little bit. The edges. Okay. Now, 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 now. We want to just come back down here again. I'm just going to get a little more white to that. And I'm just going to kind of. Do that kind of crunching. Kind of cool look up there. Now we got a cool looking waterfall. And then at the base of these, I'm just going to use a rocking motion. Let's add a little more white to the brush. See those little rocking motions? This is the exact same way you create any other waterfall. It's just instead of using this blue back here. I use multiple colors. So instead of just using the blue, I use multiple colors, guys. And that makes it so interesting. You can do that for your skies, anything. Alright, so now we got our water. And remember how we thinned that paint down a while ago for the stars? We're going to thin down some of that white again. This time for the waterfall to have some splatters down there. This, this little project here makes it wonderful for uh, little kids. Makes it wonderful for anybody, really. It's a cool looking little painting. And I'm taking this brush that. I'm going to take this brush that's got this color on it, and I'm going to kind of stamp around a little bit. Now remember, we're not going to see too much because of the water, because this is the moon here, right? So we don't want to go a little crazy, but it's a painting, it's make-believe, right? But we still want to kind of be, obviously it's make-believe because we got a, a colorful waterfall up here. Noah's waterfall. Alrighty. Hope you can see all them cool little things we're doing. And some kind of little... little Okay, that's nice there. That's nice there. Just kind of do a little touch up or two up here at the top. At the base of this here, I'm going to kind of get rid of that. Then I'm going to 
gently, gently go across that with my big old brush. Big old one inch brush. Okay, so now it's time to throw in some uh, stuff back here in the back. Right through here, we're going to throw in some rocks, okay? And you see this is a little too bright. So let's go to the palette. And we're going to take this tree color we were using. Same old thing. And come right up here. Start working on this rock that works right through here. All right. This is just with oil painting, with oil paint. Start boxing in this waterfall. You're boxing it in. The rocket goes just a little bit outside of there. You see it makes it look a little more realistic now with the with the dark stuff there. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and jump on over to the palette knife and I'm just gonna scrape up some of that dark color. Alright. And I'm gonna start putting in the textures. We'll need those textures in here. To really help add to it. And all I'm doing is I just mixed up a little bit of color here. I just took some blue, some brown, some black. Even some of this red can go in there. A little purple too. Doesn't matter. And get a little roll of that paint. And, and this texture... Uh, gives some of that realistic look to it, like oh, those are rocks. But it also will help you when you're highlighting it. We're not going to really do too much highlighting through here, but whatever is highlighted, not highlighted, will still add texture to it, and it will. Now here, I'm adding a little pressure to it. I'm adding some pressure, just a little bit of pressure. It doesn't matter. I just needed to have some texture and some uh, toothy look to it. Just some roughness like a rock. Okay. So now we got our rocks in place. Let's go ahead and start to highlight those. So I'm going to take a little bit of white paint. And that kind of purple color. Some of that purple. Some of that blue. That looks good. Okay, we'll get a little roll of that paint. Now let's go ahead and start working on the highlighting those rocks. Okay. Move little circle motions. And what it's going to do is have you blend it into that dark color. Can you see there? Kind of like how we paint clouds. You know how we blend the base up so we can put another layer there? If you want to put another boulder in there, you want to blend the base of it out just a little bit. That way it lines it up for the next one to stand out. Okay, simple. Simple. So at the basis, I don't want too much going on down here because there's not much light, but I'm just going to kind of rub my knife around there. So I can see here it looks just a little too much the same. So I'm just going to kind of break that up a little bit. Okay, that looks a little different now. Now we go on the other side. Okay, so now we're on this side of it. And just like that. Let the paint break. I'm going to use a little small section of the knife, wipe off the knife. And they kind of blend the base of that out a little bit by doing little circles with the knife. Now, the same thing applies. If you want to blend, you got to have a clean tool, either that's with your knife or with your brush. You want it to be a clean tool. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to use little circles down here at the base to kind of blend it in a little bit. And then kind of having kind of a flat section here. It makes it look a little different. And this gives us a little bit different playroom than on the other side. Okay. Using that dark paint coming here. And you see that kind of goes down like that. The paint just kind of grabbed it a little bit to ink it down to create a shadow color there. I'll use my brush to kind of splint that there to the base. Okay. Now if you're wondering, yes, I'm going to have something to go across this bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to have the bottom come in through here. So I'm going to take some black. And I'm going to take some blue. Some sap green. Purple. Some red. Doesn't matter, really. I'll just not nice create a nice dark color. Alrighty. Let me try to get some paint here. I guess something going on there. It's a red piece of paint or something that's on there. Okay. More blue, more brown, more green. It's a nice dark color. And then I'm going to wipe off the old knife. Okay, I'm going to use my big old brush that has some dark on it. And then right down here, I wanted to see sign kind of where it goes. And there's where it goes. And then I'm just going to fill it up. Okay. That easy. That simple. That simple to do. Now I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go to the palette here. And we're going to take this brush. And we're going to take some of this yellow. We didn't use much yellow today, did we? Some white. Touch of sap green. I don't want a whole lot on here. I want it to be an off-looking color. Alright, I want it to be an off-looking color. So maybe a little bit of your head in there. Everything at night looks a little off. So, let's go back up here now. And right over here... I'm just going to kind of tap in some kind of like a tree looking thing. Like a bush or tree or something. That lives right there. Now I'm going to take my liner brush. So I'm going to mix up a nice little dark gray color with my liner brush. And I thin it down with a little bit of mineral spirits. And I'm going to go right in here. Add in a little bit of a... A little bit of like a tree trunk here. See those now? Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply some grass to the base. Here we're going to use the same old color, but use back here for that little tree. Um, we're almost done with this one. This is coming together so cool. So let's take this brush and big old two-inch brush, and we're loading it into this color. All right, let's go back up here now to this uh, grass. And so I'm going to start right where this, where the moon is, and I'm where I'm going to start. I'm going to spread it out. I hope you can see that. It's not dark. It's very lightly there. I really hope the camera can pick this up. It's very, very light. 
I may make it just a little bit brighter just so you might be able to see it on the camera. Okay. All right. And now I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's get monkey faced. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take our filbert brush and we'll go into some black, some blue, some oxygen purple, some burnt umber. Yeah, mix it up. And take some red. There we go. Nice dark color. And let's put a big old, big monster tree in there. So we'll take our fill brush. And we'll start out up here. And take it. And go down. If they're already wanting to destroy it. And oh, oh, there it goes. Where does it stop? Right in here. So we use a different camera angle so you can see the whole thing being uh, uh, added to the tree. Added to the painting. All right. I was reloading it, and I'm going to add another limb off here to the side. Oh no, there it goes. And there's one. Right over top of those background trees, too. Oh boy. There it is. One thing about night paintings is you don't have to do too much detail to the highlighting. So all it makes it awesome. Because you can get a really cool look of painting, not put too much work to the detail with a night scene. So we'll thin down some color using some amazing clear and just liner brush. And we'll start working on adding the tree limbs. Alright. We don't want to kill the moon. But we do want that moon to go through. We want these branches to go over that moon and all it'll give it, it'll set that moon back even more. Because what we're trying to accomplish. Okay. Now again, you're not going to really see too much going on here because it's in the night time. But I do want to add enough detail that it doesn't really lack too much. Now I know I don't want to bore you to death with all these little added details. A lot of people are they like to skip around videos and you know I'll do the whole upload so that way if you want to skip through different parts you can do it you can come back you can watch the full thing that's however you decide to watch them sometimes I will upload videos uh, to where they are uh, shortened so folks who like to skip around could kind of watch a painting video without having to go through the full, full detailed show. So with this one, another big old branch comes off of here. Trees have tons and tons of branches. So it depends how realistic you want to be. You can sit down, do a ton of tree limbs. Come back to it, do more tree limbs. You can detail this as much as, as you really want to. But for me on here, I want to keep this as shortened as possible. Alright. That way that it's not extremely long. Too long.
you know we can up make hour long videos um i'll tell you one thing it's funny too is i have a beginner show on here it's an hour and so so many minutes long it's not you know too long of a video but it answers a ton of questions for beginners on how to clean your palette what kind of paint to use the canvases uh, it even goes into a, a full painting for for beginner artist you know so the way that you have you know something that you can work with uh, I even have the be uh, the primary painting course it's free and we still get questions on it so so make sure you check out the stuff when we do these videos on here check those videos out and if you have any questions on them further then you obviously contact us there I'm happy to always help so there goes the tree and I'm going to want to add just a little extra detail to this tree and then I'm done with it so I'm gonna take this brush into some of this purple color and I'm gonna stamp it on the edge of this of this of this uh, tree right on the edge of this tree I'm just gonna stamp some of this on here not too much but just enough so we kind of can see the tree uh, and everything where it's at kind of because that moon's going to be striking that tree in different areas and then just kind of fade it back just kind of fade it back and so the moon may strike obviously in this area some of the areas up here and then back in here okay with that this right here I'm gonna call this one finished painting alrighty guys I hope you really enjoyed this little painting here uh, this was very fun to do uh, not very much to do it uh, and you can do all kinds of different things to it, but I kind of had to shrink it up a little bit because I want this to be as short of a video as possible. Last week we uploaded one that's about 50 minutes long. So I wanted this one to be as short as possible, but with a lot of information and something totally different. Uh, so if you want to check up this full painting, go to our Instagram page. I'll have a link in the description. So make sure you follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook as well, because I upload different stuff on different pages. So make sure you follow us on those things. Have the link. I have all that stuff in the description. You can also send us fan mail to our PO box. That'll be in the description. A lot of people ask want to send some letters and things like that. You can send it to our PO box. And this one here is a fun, enjoyable one to do. All you need is uh, a black canvas, a few colors, and you can do it too. So if you have any questions, make sure you contact us at brandthomasart.com where you can also purchase our supplies and it helps us create more of these shows. Until next time, this is Ray from Art Gallery. So is yours, and I'll see you real soon. The Painting with Magic Show with Brandon Thomas is brought to you by BrandonThomasArtSupply.com, home of the Brandon Thomas product line, and by the Brandon Thomas Instructor Team. Go to BrandonThomasArt.com to find an instructor near you.